Mon town is the district capital in the state of Nagaland, a remote region of northeast India along the Myanmar border. It is historically best known for its 13 headhunting tribes. The area is so remote and hostile that it has never been militarily conquered. That is, until the U.S. Army arrived in World War II to build a road through Burma to support the anti-communist Chinese. Like the British before them, the U.S. Army preferred to leave them alone. However, the Southern Baptist missionaries were of a different mind. They waged a war of conversion. Since the 1950s, the tribes have officially abandoned headhunting and have converted to Christianity. In some cases, there are some obvious benefits. However, the area is still in a state of war, a war of independence, and only last year was the state open to foreigners. So I decided that I needed to leave the modern town and visit a local village so I could verify that headhunting really was a thing of the past. It doesn't take long to exit the town of Bonn. The way is clearly marked, and the trails are obvious. All villages have at least one morong, or longhouse, where the young warriors slept until married. Symbols of heads are popular. I see that without electricity, life in the village can be very dark and rustic. Each village has a king who still governs. This is his throne room. Gongs captured from other villages over time, and it seems that skulls are still in high fashion. These weren't exactly the skulls I was looking for. Now we're talking. The king assured me that these are all pre-World War II skulls, and that his people are now good Christians. Thinking about the Christian Crusades made me wonder about that statement. So 65 years after World War II, Nagaland is civilized after all. And here stands the proof of change. <laughs> 